Hello everyone, I'm back with one more course about AI and I already have a few courses on the Udemy about this subject and today I'm gonna present you AI agent and you're gonna use the AI agent to revolutionize, revolutionize the, the way user interface is built for a web system. So basically we, we have, we are gonna use AI agent to provide the user interface that is driven by natural language. So our, we are gonna build a sophisticated engine that we understand the user intent and dynamically create the UI for the, what the user is trying to achieve. Let me demonstrate it very quick here. So let's say that we need to add a new address to a account. How do you do that? The first thing probably you have to search how to do that in a big system because it's not very uh, simple. The second step would be you have to navigate through different uh, menus and then finally find the form that you need to, to fill in order to, to add your new address. So we are proposing, if you want to add a new address to any account, you just need to say, I add this new address to my account. And here as an example, I'm already passing the address here as part of my input. And our AI agent would be uh, working behind the scenes to figure out what the best UI that should be displayed for you for that given task that you're trying to achieve, right? So here, you are not only found out what will be the best UI to that uh, action based on the documentation that you have in our system, but we also, uh, the AI agent also found on your input what is the address and which part of the, uh, the text to have him uh, provided would be to which field would go that input, right? So here you can uh, edit if you need, but I uh, would be mostly right. And you just need to uh, click proceed and that would be straight away uh, landing in your, on your backend. Um, another example is, let's say that you want to find and figure out more about a product. So you want to know if a product has a video demo, for example. And you can just say, do you have a video demo for the product tree? Yes, we have a video demo for the product tree. And then you can just get this answer straight away. Right? Why you don't need to navigate all the, the page to try to find the video. And you could also get image, for example, a list all your product. Just an example of how our agent can uh, render different multimedia. So here we have image, we have video from YouTube, and you have uh, a normal video as well from, uh, I think it's from Vimeo. And uh, that's very interesting, isn't it? And I want to also show that you can um, interact with external APIs as well, right? So I have here set up integration with uh, GitHub. Uh, say list all my GitHub repositories. Yeah, I'll list the repository. Repository, and yeah, this is my real repository from GitHub, and you can see the chat flow would appear here. Yeah, that flow appears here. So I, now I want to list my GitHub repository above uh, and get my GitHub repository and display as a chart with the field's full name and for count. That is the field that they have on GitHub object. And then we display the information now not as a list but as a chart and here showing uh, the values from the, the field that we we chose right so the name of the of the repository and how many forks it has so you can see here that my most uh, fork project was this lambda pipeline one now i want to show you how we configure our systems to to respond to the user intent, right? So now I'm going to try to create a new repository. Now in the GitHub. 
And uh, our engineers say that we don't know how to perform this action because we don't have any documentation that will uh, explain how, when the user is trying to create a repository, what should be rendered. So we don't have anything. And how will we add uh, this, we extend this uh, for our system to new capabilities it, to add documentation. Now, I say that we want to add a new documentation and we, for documentation, create, create repo. And now we we'll go to where we get, we are where we get the documentation is from use uh, from GitHub doc, right? The, the, the documentation, how to create a new repository. We just copy it here fully and just paste it all here. And you add a tag here to say that this is an action. And then our application key will be this application key here. And we just okay. And now we try to perform the same action. Create a new app, the private repository. And now our agent should know about. Uh, we keep the cast, so we can. We need to change a little bit and just remove this part. And now our system is able to respond with this new request from the user and provide um, the field that um, and that is required for creating a new repository. And you, by creating here this page, create repository, it will automatically create a new repository. Test, uh, say, demo, and that will create go to to the GitHub, and you can see that a new repository was created. Um, next. We can also have actions that would be to use JavaScript. For example, here so far we were using more a API request, but we can also run JavaScript as well. So for example, I want to open a chatbot window and I will do ask for that. And a new chat will just appear in here. Right, so this is pretty cool. I think it's uh, revolutionizing, and I want to show you the, what is under the hood of this and how you were able to do all that using AI agent. And I'm sure you're going to have a lot of fun. So you are be using uh, semantic searching. You're going to have vector database, uh, rag, rag retriever argument and generation, and much more. So see you in the course.